You wanted to see me, Mr. Hardman? Please, call me Daniel. Sit down. <clears throat> First of all, I want to tell you Harvey speaks very highly of you. He does? Well, it's Harvey, so you have to read between the lines. What did he say, that I'm, uh, I'm not a complete idiot? Something like that. <laughs> he also told me that you and I had the same idea to go after a TRO. He told me that too. Why did you think it was the right move? It put a clock on the negotiations and kept both sides at the table. I thought so too. But whether I agreed with him at the time or not, I'm not going against him now. But he and I do agree on this point. His decision puts us in a bit of a pickle. Because we can't go back to Miss Sawyer and ask exactly what she needs to close the deal. Harvey and I can't. But I can. So you are smart. <laughs> I'm afraid so. You'll have to forgive me for not completely trusting Harvey's assessment. But I needed to make sure that our back-channel negotiator was up to the task. That's why he's not here. Coach doesn't let Dad come to the tryouts. <sighs> what do you need me to do? They sent you? Which means they're not serious about talking. Miss Sawyer, please, listen to me. You are on strike, and they are never going to flinch. So what harm is there in talking to me? Why should I trust you? Well, that's why I wanted you to meet me here. No, this is my grandmother, Edith Ross. H Hello. A proud resident of a Prescott nursing home. This is not just another case for me. Yeah, and, and he didn't just stick me in here last night to make that point. He locked me in here months ago. Grammy. <laughs> no, I, easy, Michael. I'm helping you out here. <laughs> By the way, uh, you're a bit of a hero to my favorite nurse. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that's nice to hear. He never shuts up about you. I, I can't take one pill in peace. <laughs> Edith, I'm glad you brought up the topic of pills, because I need to give your grandson a little lesson. You mind? Let's see here. Plavix, Zestrel, Agriton, Atenolol. You know what happens when they're not kept straight? Not good. Who do you think does that? Doctors? Nurses. Imagine your grandmother's nurse just finished a 15-hour shift. She needs her medicine in exactly two hours. They're understaffed. That nurse is going to stay. He won't even sign a time card for it because he won't get paid. But if his name shows up on this chart, he stayed. Happens every day. You ask me what I want? I want enough money so it never happens again. <laughs>